today I have something special for you. Because we just hit 30k and I didn't announce any 30k sub special. But if you think that means there's no 30k sub special, you're wrong. So today we're going to play Poland, but not just that. I will conquer the world, but not just that. And we're going to do it with the secret path. And on top of that, make the secret achievement. Yeah, we're going to do a lot today. So without further ado, Iron Man, historical and go. So Poland, a nation with actually quite a big army, even though it's a little bit oh. under equipped. We also have a decent industry compared to my last nations, but uh, it will not be enough to conquer the world. So let's get to work. And as always, let's start with some mills, replace the airframe with cars, even though it's not the greatest plane, it's going to help a lot. And the rest into a little bit of everything because we're going to need it. Research wise, let's do the standard. We will need engineering. We will need production. And focus wise, we have no time to lose with our political path. Let's get a monarchy. First focus is done. Let's fulfill the 5th of November Act, which basically allows us to kind of select a king. And in all of these events, there's a secret monarch hiding, but more on that later. So focus is done. We can't do anything over here yet. So let's fix our nation a bit. The four year plan. Let's get it. Focus is done. And at the same time, we have our first candidate, Friedrich Christian. No. And you know what? Focus wise, I want research slots. So let's get that. The Habsburg candidate. No. Crown Prince Michael of Romania. No. And we have enough political power for our first advisor. And I would say we take the political power one because, you know, they pay for themselves. So taking them earlier, pretty good. The Cossack King. No. And now we said no to so many people that it just lists the people again. And we actually want that. Basically, your government gets desperate for a monarch and they choose a little bit of a random candidate. But more about it later. It's just very important that we start this early because this takes a while. And finally, we can do the agrarian reform. Removing looming peasant strike, which is, you know, very good. I don't need a silver in this run. I know, crazy. So we have spot on 100 political power. And I'm going to get myself a chief of army because we will need army experience very early on. In the background, I will also start to build a little bit of an army because some of our focuses are locked behind a certain amount of men in the field and we don't have that yet. So let's increase those rookie numbers. And yes, in the background, I already started my tank development. And yes, I'm going to do this run with space marines. What do you think I will be doing? Getting a bigger air force than the Soviet Union or the Germans? Nah, we're going to do this the glorious way. So agrarian reform is done. And I would say now let's get some factories. Once again, setting up the MIOs with with shift and left click. Very good. Still a small little life hack. I very much appreciate it. And now that we have enough political power, let's go to partial mobilization. But even more importantly, the candidate arrived. Anastasia Romanov. Basically, a woman being or pretending to be the last Romanov. This woman actually existed, by the way. You can Google her. It's a fun story. But basically, we invite the last possible direct heir to the Russian throne into our government to be the monarch of the Polish kingdom. So our king will be the last Romanov probably giving us the secret path which is basically the monarchist version of the Cossack path and I know it says Cossack king but if you look closely this is not monarchist there's an ideology and here a small shout out to Mitchman and my twitch chat who showed me this path I, I didn't plan on doing this I trained for another run you will probably see soon but yeah I didn't know about this and it's very cool invite exile nobility replacing the trade the last Romanov with the last Romanov and giving us the royal set I budgeted it, but I'm also not Polish. So forgive me. But look at that. We are white now. Very cool. And look at her being all happy. She really likes to be in charge. You see it in her face. Invite the Excel nobility is done, allowing us to do pan Slavic revanchism. Let's get it. Autocratic Archbishop, giving us more stability and more unaligned support. Very good. Pan Slavic revanchism is done, and we don't have enough men in the field, so let's change that. That is actually not enough. Time for my second trick. Add more men to the template. And bum, we have enough men in the army. Cheeky little trick. Demand Lithuania. Demand Lithuania is done. And of course we get it because there's a 100% chance we get it. I'm not even going to pretend this was luck. Very good. But sadly, Lithuania is not a core and it will not be a core until we reform the Commonwealth. Why do I say this so weirdly? Of course, because of a trick here. Because over here, you can also restore the Commonwealth with a focus. The only thing you need is an average of 50% compliance in Lithuania or Lithuania as a puppet. So if you go in here now and just release Lithuania and have them as a puppet now, we can just immediately core it with this focus. So yeah, 
pretty cool. And you know what? Because we'll need it, let's increase our conscription law. Restore the combo of Istan, which gives us enough manpower to take Governate of Livonia. Getting a war goal on Estonia and Latvia. But oh my god, we're missing so many guns in the background. I will downsize my army once we're done with the focuses that need manpower, because it's a bit much, but I need it this early. Medium tank chassis is here. What I want to do now is build myself a cute anti-air tank. Governor of Livonia is done. In the background, let's do Demand Slovakia, because once again, they will always say yes. But we also have to attack these two immediately. Otherwise, the allies will just guarantee them and I I'm not in the mood for that. So let's push and also build a little bit of an air force. Really outdated air force, but still it's an air force, so let's use it. And in the background, let's get a staunch aristocrat, giving us nice consumer goods modifiers. The man Slovakia is done and already called Czech Republic, so I imagine they said yes. Yeah, they said yes. That kind of was a giveaway. I didn't even need to see my side of the event, so yeah. But a lot of free land. And the wars are won. That gave us actually a big industry boost. I like that. But now we should prepare for a little bit of a bigger war, because we have a world to conquer. And because I'll need a well-trained Polish army to achieve this goal, let me tell you about the perfect way to prepare yourselves for the upcoming conflict. Today's sponsor, Enlisted. This free first-person squad-based shooter will train you how to fight on the battlefields by skillfully combining PvP with PvE combat which you can experience on PC and or console. Become the leader of an AI controlled squad of soldiers and lead them into some of the most pivotal battles of World War II, where you will experience massive clashes against the squads of other players and dominate the battlefield by using the unique roles and abilities of your squad to devise strategies. Learn the tactics of our enemies by fighting on the side of the United States, Germany, the Soviet Union or Japan, while also showing off your huge Polish skill by unlocking hundreds of weapons, tanks and aircrafts to customize your squads with. I personally love that you don't need any extra hardware to play. Drive any tank, fly any aircraft with nothing but your mouse and keyboard or controller. This way, hardware barely matters. And for existing players, I bring even more glorious news. Enlisted has recently recently received a huge metagame update, introducing research trees for weapons and vehicles, a matchmaker based on equipment, and various other improvements to gameplay. And this is all developed in collaboration with the Enlisted community. So join the Enlisted community for free on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox now by using my link in a pinned comment or video description. New players on PC will also receive a special bonus pack that includes multiple items, 4,000 silver, and 3 days of premium account. The offer is available for limited time only, so download Enlisted now and bring glory to the Polish army. Morning, you can't actually play the Polish army. This is a little bit for comedic effect. And because I've enough army experience now, I upgrade the enter tank one last time. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's use it. I also downsized my army a little bit. So these are all normal 20 with divisions now, meaning I have enough guns. Nice. We're not fully prepared yet, but I'd rather start earlier than later. So let's demand Yugoslav subjugation. And they will always say no. Basically, this kicks off a war with Romania and Yugoslavia. And once again, it's a lot of free land. But we're a little bit on a time limit with that. So yeah, <laughs> gotta be fast with that. And this is why I'm building so much mills, by the way. Because we get a lot of civilian industry, but barely any mills at the moment. So yeah, we just gotta build those. And we do build them quite fast now. We have like nearly 30 factories on that. Pretty good. Demand Yugoslav subjugation is done. And yeah, they said no. I know. Big surprise. Let's declare the war, which means we will call in Romania. And I set up a nice defensive line over here because if we attack them directly, they have two good supply hubs and we have nothing. But if you let them come to us, they have to fight next to our supply hubs and they have nothing. So I'd rather do that. And this is also the main reason why I built this air force because they don't have a big air force. And if we have a little bit of an air force, we basically win. And you see the race struggle with supply. Supply. Very good. But I would say, without further ado, let's push him. In the background, I'm gonna get Claim Russia, not for the war goal, but for replacing the last Romanov with the last Romanov, giving us more political power over time, stability, and war support. Uh, okay, parts of the Czech Republic just disappeared. Then, hey, we got a province. Yay. <laughs> One civilian factory. I mean, I take that. It's good. As if it's a Sif, right? And good news, we got our first supply hub. That's going to be very useful. Yeah, I just got to wait out the last stand spamming. That is kind of annoying. But, you know, we have supply, you know. That's pretty good. And now it's my time to spam last stand. And Germany demands memble. Uh, uh, yeah, we, we can't fight them. So I'm going to say yes. Uh, I'm not crazy. Not yet. And another nice encirclement. Very good. And we have basically won. We got the supply hub. That's the real problem here. 
you have like this one supply up it's a little bit problematic once you push it you have one the background check is a little high disappeared um that's not good but i'm gonna get myself an infantry expert so should speed things up a little bit once again in circle a huge chunk of the romanian army and also got the research slot and now for something i personally very much appreciate a modified it gives me non-command power i'll take it and now with the north cleaned up let's just push south of course the last stand <laughs> and romania capitulated i will take the entire navy and the nation i have to puppet this is the sole reason that we will have to fight the soviet union and a smaller front line is not a bad thing and at the same time i really need my guns for fighting and not waste them for garrisons so yeah but what i can do is take the entire industry and take their entire resources and this way it's like we own the land just without the negative very good now let's take care of yugoslavia the soviets are visiting us in 200 days good to know what our deadline is and we got an airport very good air dominance here we go oh my god my planes are bad <laughs> They're being shot down so fast. Okay, we should win fast now. They are crumbling, which is good. So, Danzig or War. As much as I would like to fight the Germans now, for this World Congress to be as efficient as I want it to be, it's better to give this land away for now and kind of help the Germans at the beginning. It sounds weird, but I'm gonna give it to them. I know, very sad. And we have won in Yugoslavia. That was actually fast enough. I'm very happy with that. So what I'm gonna do is, once again, I'm gonna puppet them. Also gonna take the industry and the resources. Very good. So, with this out of the way, I prepare my defense against the Soviets as an offense, as you do. And on the side, I'm going to do something risky and justify against the French. This should allow me to get into the war against the Allies and join the Axis. Yeah, let's see how this works out. War goal against France is done. Let's declare the war and pray that the Axis invite me now. They won't. That's not good. Yeah, I did I mention that minimal test runs for this to make it more interesting? The Axis just don't invite me. So the Soviet Union declared the war. I'm not really prepared because my units are a little bit under equipped. But let's see. Well, now we seem to be holding. So, yeah. Let's stay positive on this. And yep, that's why I have a Coast Guard. I know the Soviet Union loves to do that. Look at that force attack from the Soviets. And I'm holding. I think I should do a counter push. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. Hey, just for the protocol, right? This is a defensive war, okay? And yeah, those provinces over here are our core states. Because we're the Commonwealth. That is so good. So with pushing, we increase our manpower and industry. I love that. I mean, we have quite a good industry already. That's actually pretty good. In the background, I should really build up a spy agency because the Soviet Union without call-up government and not fun. I like how much guns the US sends to me. <laughs> I'm at war with the Allies, but they're like, you know, they fight the Soviets. Give them guns. I think we got Leningrad. That's a lot of troops in there. Like, what the? Wow, that was huge. Why do you see it? Romania, what are you doing? <laughs> Okay, that's it. You're gonna get called into the war. Which war is it? Which war is the war of the Soviets? The Italian-British war, the Polish-French war? Huh? Literally gave this land away in the worst possible moment. I'm about to encircle everything. They're like, yeah, you have a port. Thanks. We're already next to Moscow? I didn't even notice that. Can we just take Moscow now? That would be so funny. <laughs> we just took Moscow. <laughs> okay. It's 1940, by the way. So can we upgrade our division to 30 with? We're missing a little bit of anti-air tanks, but we can. Let's do it. Enough waiting. Let's push. And look at that beautiful tank. 91 reliability, actually. That is crazy. Let's build it. It's way better. Okay, out of nowhere, the Germans just decided to declare war on me. So um, I guess it's just turned into a disaster safe. Oh, man, that's so unlucky. I'm just happy I released Czechoslovakia for the free occupation because otherwise this would be even harder to hold. They're really pushing hard in the south and I, I, I can't allow them to connect these front lines. But I feel like I should hold out. Oh, I lost so much of my industry. This is so sad. But yeah, I would say it's officially my first disaster safe now because, yeah, I'm at war with the world. I didn't prepare for this. I'm sweating but i will do more test runs in the future or you like this type of content then i won't okay slowly but surely i am pushing them back and i think i will retake warsaw very soon but this was all a little bit ridiculous we got warsaw back that's so much of my war industry oh my god now i wish i had someone to trade steel with maybe through here it worked yes we have a land connection to sweden i don't need convoys anymore let's go oh this feels so good to save this this feels so good and we did our first german pop Look at that. That should free up a good amount of troops. And more industry freed. Let's go. And the doctrines are done. Yeah, my advice here is just don't pop in Yugoslavia. <laughs> That's my TLDR. I gotta say, this Soviet front line was holding so good. That was actually scary. And in circle, man. Can we hold it? That would be huge. Hungary just demanded ownership over Slovakia. And Germany said yes. How can Germany say yes to this? <laughs>
What is this? Oh my god. I'm happy they just have a lot of troops here at the moment, but this is a little bit ridiculous and stupid. Okay, we're officially now at war with the US too. This is getting more and more fun. And let's retake Danzig. Very good. So I think I conquered back most of the Polish provinces, so we have our industry back. That's very good. And we have a land connection to Sweden, which means, yeah, uh, we can trade. So I would say let's consolidate the front lines over here and push the Soviet Union very soon. There's just one last city missing. And we got it back. Let's go. Man, the axes are just a husk of an army now. Like, this is not even funny. The allies will have the time of their life once they land in Italy, but uh, I'm not gonna have fun with that. So, war goal against Iran. Please join the common turn. Please. Yes, they joined the common turn. Why did I do that? And why am I happy? Basically, for the secret achievement, I need to own parts of Iran. So, once I capitulate the Soviet Union, they will capitulate too. So, I basically get them for free. That is very good. So, we own Stalingrad, which means I get to proclaim Slavic unity, pouring a lot of land. So, yeah, let's create the Slavic Union. Have I said that this path is a little bit strong? I think I haven't said it yet. Yeah, this path is a little bit strong. If you're not an idiot like me and declare war on the entire world, it's also easier to pull off. But this way, it's more fun for you not for me. But the upside of this is that my generals have become absolute gods. We have proclaimed Slavic unity and we are now the Slavic Union. Giving us a lot of factories. Oh my god. And we basically caught all of Russia, Yugoslavia, Bulgaria, Czechia. Oh my god. We caught a lot of land. It is crazy how much land we just caught and I love it. But this should allow us to get the units we're still missing to win this war and that absolutely obliterate everyone who's still in our way. So let's do that. Oh my god, I'm gonna reduce my manpower law now because we have 4 million manpower and I want my industry back. That should help a lot with things. And yeah, the offensive is going great. So, I feel like the Soviet Union is gonna capitulate very soon. I did prepare a collaboration government, but now knowing that I core most of the Soviet Union, I, I don't think I need it. But, you know, better be safe than sorry. That's what I learned over here. <laughs> Goodbye, Southern Soviet Army. Your service has been not appreciated. Goodbye. And the Soviet Union is of the past. Very good. I'm going to be greedy. I'm just going to take it all. And the Navy. So this opened up a small front line with the British Raj. I'm just going to put a few troops over there. But I would say besides that, we're pretty safe. I don't think the Americans will try to naval invade over here. But yeah, look at that. Looking pretty cool. I wish this would be the end of the video. But it isn't. <laughs> Let's go on. And welcome to Berlin. Man, my army is destroying them. What is going on here? And also a lot of Italians in circles. What is going on over here? Don't you love when front lines just move randomly? I love that. It is amazing. After all of this, I would love to see the losses against the Germans. So I lost 720k. They lost 7 million to me. What? Oh, Germany capitulated. Bad news. The allies are back. Oh my gosh, already deployed troops. But I control the Machino line. <laughs> Capitulates Belgium. That's actually funny. And now if we take a few provinces in Italy, we should get a secret general. By the way, if you've forgotten, this is about playing the secret path as Poland. And it just went a little bit off track. Oh, look at that. What check never drops a crate. This brave soldier ensured our artillery could keep firing and was thereby instrumental in defeating the enemy. As a result of this, it has been decided that Wojciech should be promoted. Corps commander. And there we go. Bearer of artillery. The secret achievement. And if you don't know the corporal I just talked about, let me show him to you. Here he is. We got a bear as a general. Very cool. And he shall lead our army to great glory. But that's not the best thing about him. Because even better, when you also control Moscow, you get this event. Following the capture of Moscow by the Slavic Union and their allies, our operators found notes from the NKVD archives revealing the gruesome fate of the Romanov family. The report concludes that the entire imperial family, including Anastasia, was captured in July 1980 by the Bolsheviks. If we don't act quickly, the world will soon know that our queen is not who she pretends to be. Basically, our dearest Anastasia over here is not the actual Anastasia Romanov and just pretended to be. What a plot twist. And this gives us two choices, bury the evidence or someone else should bear the crown of Poland. Wojciech becomes the leader of the non-aligned party. He who bears the crown. Oh, this is actually beautiful. Oh, that's so funny. That is actually really good. I'm happy now. I am actually happy now. So the only thing we're missing now is the part where I conquer the world. Yeah, soon TM. Don't look at the date, because I'm not. I would be scared otherwise. Oh no, Turkey has just been called into the war. Fast army general, you good here, fast. As long as I'm still at war with the Axis, let's get the Spanish involved. Why did it join the allies? 
Diddly diddly. This is such a cheat. Anyways, let's take everything. So I didn't got everything, which is kind of ridiculous because I had like 90% war participation. Oh my god. They actually their own nation. But the good news is that I'm at war with the allies. So doesn't really matter. Bro, this naval invasion is like not fun to fight off. I know I capitulate the allies early most of the time. This is uh, horrible. Okay, I really need an air force now. It's getting really annoying. So chat number one and chat number two. So I've enough. Let's change doctrine. I really need a tank force now. Otherwise, this is not beatable. So all of this will now go into tank stuff. Very cool. And that will allow me to do a lot of other shenanigans. Okay, I started to compete with the main allied forces. And yeah, they're not looking looking that good anymore. The losses, <laughs> what is going on? Oh my god. Let the damage begin. Push for Italy. Okay, fighting with an air force is so much easier. <laughs> Maybe I should have invested a little bit earlier, but on the other hand, when? Uh, what? The allies have nukes. That's not good. Let's try it. Naval invasion into Britain. Okay, they left the port for some reason. And can I get it? Oh, I got a port. Come over, my children. With children, I mean modern tank divisions. And for some reason, they're leaving all the ports. What is this? Why are they leaving all the ports? I think those were naval invasions that were prepared. And because I landed next to them, they reorganize. And that means they leave Britain? I I'm so confused. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. This is absolutely what I need. Let's go. I didn't even plan on that achievement. Poland can into space. Yeah, I did that. And also also into Turkey with my new modern tanks that I gave our great leader. Yep, working quite well so far. Very good. Okay, this was a very dreadful campaign so far. <laughs> I mean, years have passed and I cleaned up over here majorly. The losses are through the roof. I have four million losses, zero manpower, but the allies are even worse. And we're now in a situation where the UK doesn't have any more manpower, the French doesn't have any more manpower, and me neither. But I can increase my conscription and I'm gonna do that now. I've endless equipment. So, service by requirement, doubling our manpower. Let the magic happen. Just saw how many planes I built but can't equip. Oh my god. You know you're playing long if India gets the independence. That's just very special. Yo, next achievement. Crusader Kings 3. I gotta say, it's not a sub-special if you don't get a lot of achievements you never wanted to do. This is just... Uh, isn't suffering fun? Is it like entertaining? Yeah, look at that. Encircled so much troops. Late game in Circlements are just crazy. Be gone, Ethiopia. Yeah, I'm really pushing into Africa now. I have no more chill now. I'm gonna conquer everything. I don't care about just capitulating the grand powers. I'm done with this. We're gonna take everything. I don't wanna have naval invasions anymore. You don't understand. Denmark just joined. That was stupid. I don't know how else to call this. Um, goodbye, Denmark. I'm done playing around. <laughs> this is my final statement. Okay, it is way too late in the game, but I finally got myself a staging ground in Bermuda. Let's see if that works out. And yeah, I'm still fighting in Africa. <laughs> What a calm conquest of Norway, right? I'm just done with this. I'm just so done. Okay, Norway capitulated. Very good. Let's clean this up. Goodbye, America. And we landed in Florida. The nuke distraction worked. Yeah, that, that was a distraction. And if everything goes well, I should win very soon. Bad news? I have to capitulate Canada, the United States, and Mexico. Or as I like to call them, um, so, yeah, we, we have a lot ahead of us. Okay, this invasion is going better than I thought it would. I'm actually amazed. I would say that's Africa cleaned up. And yes, it was as painful as you think. This is our revenge for Sofia. <laughs> Oh, America. I gotta be honest. I win most of these wars. That's <laughs> with nukes. It is getting out of hand. Goodbye, frontline. And now let's push. There will be not much left of this world after this war. I do gotta say that. But to be fair, it's 1954 and I don't want to play that much longer. <laughs> Yo, do you guys capitulate? I'm actually happy about it. Oh my god, that was dreadful. Now let's go into the other calm states. Okay, uh, Mexico and Canada just collapsing now. This is not hard anymore. By the way, this is a recording day too. Uh, did I did a mention that? I think I didn't mention that, did I? Yeah, yeah. And Mexico is gone. Oh my god. Peace conference. I don't know why the Japanese want Jan Mayan so hard. Come on. Just let it be. Just got another achievement. No more petitions. Has Poland been independent and ensure that both Germany and the USSR are either in your faction or don't exist? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Just doing all achievements in this run. Okay, but I feel like I got most of the world and the only thing really missing is to defeat Japan now. The big problem I have is for some reason they got some provinces around here. You know what? It might have been my mistake. I think I selected Japan with the last few provinces and I basically forced them upon them. They fought me for that. 
But that means they really didn't want to have Jan Mayan. Yeah, this campaign broke me. Japan, are you sure you want to defend your land? I think you should rethink that. Oh my god. That was a lot of nukes. The good thing is, I have more. Naval invasion is a go. And mainland Japan has capitulated. Good. I would say let's garrison this and complete the rest of the shopping list. Venezuela. <laughs> Okay, Venezuela is done. Who's next on the list? Ah, yes. Welcome, Sire. Finally. <laughs> that was so <laughs> painful. Okay, only a few nations over here and South America. And that's the Middle East. Done. And that's half of South America. Yep, they formed an alliance. <laughs> Dude. Anyways, it's mine now. I was born and I wanted to do another achievement, so here we go. I want your Asian 80 days. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just doing all of the achievements now. So, I got this bicycle emissions from Italy. Let's try it out. Very good. Tour de France. And I'm like, you know, we're already waiting so long. Let's do them. And as it is tradition on this channel, with all conquests, taking out Brazil at the end. Goodbye, Brazil. So many units here. <laughs> but when you have a fully equipped army of modern tanks in combination with a huge air force, this is easy. And Brazil has capitulated. And here we go. World conquest. Honestly, this campaign should have ended when they defeated Germany and the Soviet Union. Everything after that was just pure suffering. For those who are interested, those are my divisions. And don't forget about Enlisted. It should be downloaded by now. And if not, what are you still doing here? Click my link in a pinned comment or video description and play it for free on PC, PlayStation or Xbox now. And new players, you can even get a special bonus pack that includes multiple items, in-game currency and premium account time. So click the link. I'm not asking anymore. To my patrons, I love you. Until next time, bye.